Hey everybody, welcome back to Elder Scrolls Online. We're going to be doing going over part three, and the quest we're going to be going over is the Harborage. Here we go. Alright, up in the corner you can see, or up right up top, I just saw another uh, anchor just fall. So I'm going to head over there before I start the uh, next quest and see if we can pull off something that uh, I can use out of that chest there. Now you're going to notice throughout the series that I am always, always going to try to go after these anchors. Just because you're guaranteed to get a, uh, at least a, there's nobody over there. Yeah, I'm not going to, I'm actually not going to uh, try and tackle that anchor right now. I'm going to wait for other people to show up. It's really hard to do by yourself unless you're high enough level. Here comes somebody. Level 7, that'll work. It'll be a lot easier anyway. But anyway, like I was saying, these anchors, you are guaranteed to get something green or higher. So it's uh, it's very beneficial to take an extra couple minutes and head over there and try to get it. Well, this isn't going to be as easy as I thought it was going to be. a lot more people doing these anchors than there is now. I will call forth someone more worthy of your strength. Also, if you notice, when you close those pinions, then everybody around there, all the all the other characters around there, their stamina and their health gets regenerated. Wait for some other people. There we go. Yeah. 
Jeez. Strength will be rewarded one day. Queensbury's a better. The crystal shards, I guess. Yeah. Probably one of the easiest quests. It's a little time consuming just because all you're doing is walking around following the, the prophet and listening to the stories of the past. But uh, it's pretty easy. It's, it's real easy. You just have to, like I said, just follow him and then at the end you'll get experience points and a ring and a, um, a skill point that you'll be Anyone can be crowned emperor. That's one of the risks we take. There you are, Vestige. We must speak at once. Hello, Prophet. Listen well. I have located a safe harbor from which we might plan our course of action. You must meet me there. Where is this safe harbor? I awoke upon a sandy shore. A stretch of beach outside a bustling city of elves, Vokel Guard. The harborage is in the seaside cave outside the city. It is there that you will find me. I'll come at once. Now the cave is is right over here. It's real close. Now if you guys see this little outcropping, I'm running right toward it right now. Um, there's a... Uh, there's always an enchanting stone right here, a rune that you can collect, and usually around the other side, there's a iron ore. Uh, it looks like somebody's already gotten it. We'll check it again when we leave. Alrighty, head in this cave.
down here where the prophet is, there's always a couple of backpacks. Be sure to check them every time you come I in here. I hear familiar footfalls. Come closer, Vestage. I'll take it. Welcome to the Harborage, Vestage. This is as comfortable a home as an old dried up husk like myself could hope for. How did you find it? Despite my blindness, nay, because of it, my other senses seem to have heightened. This place had the right smell about it. When you first appeared to me in Cold Harbor, you spoke of my destiny. Indeed, but let us not get ahead of ourselves. Without an understanding of where we are bound, every road will get us nowhere. Before we truly understand our destination, we must speak of the past. A history lesson? Of a sort. I invite you to enter my mind and walk with me through visions of the past that you might understand the events that brought us to this time, this moment. All right. Enter my mind, Vestige, and walk with me through the shadows of past events. Follow me, Vestige, and learn of the events that precipitated our current crisis. So all you do is follow and listen. My part in the story began when I awoke on the steps of the Abbey of the Moth Priests, with no memory of my prior life. The Moth Priests took pity upon me and brought me into their fold. I was weak and near death. It was there I first set eyes upon the Elder Scrolls and devoted my life to their study. The scrolls allowed me to glimpse the very fabric of reality, but each profound insight dimmed my vision and eventually left me permanently blinded to the light of the world. Prophecies of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid, living thing. They are not fixed. At many points throughout history, the actions of heroic mortals have rewritten them. Well, what does this have to do with me? I only know that you are important, Vestige. The Scrolls reveal to me that your destiny is intertwined with that of the Five Companions. Who are the Five Companions? The Five Companions were a band of adventurers who sought out an ancient artifact called the Amulet of Kings. They hope to use this artifact to persuade Akatosh, the Dragon God, to accept their leader as one of the Dragonborn. Dragonborn? The Dragonborn are mortals destined for greatness, with the blood of the dragons in their veins. It is said that only a true Dragonborn can ignite the eternal dragon fires in the Imperial City. Who was their leader? Baron Aquilarius, the son of Colobian Duke, who led a rebellion against the Emperor Leovic and took the crown himself. Alas, Verum was not truly a dragonborn, as those who sit upon the ruby throne must be, in accordance with tradition. Go on. You have already heard enough babbling from this old blind fool. It is time you met the five companions yourself and witnessed their fate. Well, go back. The first companion, Lyris Titanborn, daughter of giants, was the mightiest warrior in the service of the Emperor. Next, Abnathan, a powerful sorcerer and Grand Chancellor to the Imperial Elder Council. The Red Guard Swordmaster, Sai Sahan, leader of the Imperial Dragon Guard. The Imperial Emperor, Baron Aquilarius, who attempted to light the dragon fires and failed. And finally, Manamarco, the traitor, the king of worms, a powerful necromancer, and your executioner. These were the five companions 
who set out from the imperial city on an epic quest to recover the lost amulet of kings. How could the amulet of kings turn Varen into one of the dragonborn? Many Marco convinced Varen that the amulet could be used to perform a ritual that would rekindle the dragon fires. He claimed this would please Akatosh and entice him to adopt Varen as one of the dragonborn. Why did Varen want to be a dragonborn? By tradition, only the dragonborn can lay claim to the ruby throne and rule as the one true emperor by divine right. Varen conquered Cyrodiil and took the throne, but unless he became dragonborn, he feared he'd always be thought of as a pretender. Tell me about the other companions. Each of the five companions were chosen for their skill and courage, and each was given a special role to perform in the party. Who would you like to know more about? Tell me about Lyris Titanborn. You've already met Lyris. She's a Nord warrior from the frozen lands of Skyrim to the north. And it is said that her family lineage contains the blood of giants. Varen chose her for her strength and her loyalty to be his personal bodyguard. I've heard enough about these three. What about Manamarco? Manamarco the traitor, the great enemy the most powerful necromancer this world has ever known. His worm cult infiltrates and corrupts every corner of Tamriel. It was he who convinced Varen to perform the ritual you are about to witness. What happened when they performed the ritual? Disaster, war, and pestilence. A world brought to its knees. Now watch and see how one man's arrogance brought about the greatest threat our world has ever known. All right. There it is. The dragon fire brazier. Manimarco. You are certain this will work? It will work, my liege. The amulet of kings will rekindle the dragon fires and ensure your rightful place as emperor. You have my word. It better work, Money Marco, or you'll find your neck at the business end of my axe. My lord, I wonder if you'd muzzle your half-giant pet. She really is annoying. Enough, both of you. We are here to ensure my lord's rightful claim to the ruby throne. Abner, begin the ritual. I have a destiny to fulfill. Yeah. By the lighting of the dragon fires, I claim my rightful lineage. By the fires of creation, let me be reborn. By the will of Akatosh, I proclaim myself Dragonborn. Baron Aquilarius, you are no heir to Alessia. You will pay for your sacrilege. The veil between Tamriel and Oblivion tears and splits of thunder. What's happening? The sky's opening up. This is bad. This is very bad. Ritual tore the veil between Nairn and Oblivion, allowing Manamarco to begin stealing the souls his master needed to power the dark anchors and initiate the claim them. What went wrong? Akatosh gave Alessia the Amulet of Kings as a symbol of his covenant with Nairn. So long as the amulet remained in the care of Alessia's heirs and the dragon fires remained lit, Tamria would be protected from the Daedra. What happened next? Manamarco tricked Varen into breaking the covenant, and the veil between Oblivion and Nern was torn. The Elder Scrolls named this event the Soul Burst. It gave Molog Baal the opportunity to disconnect the souls of Nern from their hosts. What happened to the other companions? Varen was lost. In the chaos of the moment, Sai Sahan took the Amulet of Kings and fled. 
Leris was captured by Menemarco and delivered to Cold Harbor, the realm of Molag Bal. What about Abarthon and Menemarco? Thon remains Chancellor of the Elder Council, and his daughter Clibio rules as Emperor's Regent. But the true power remains in the hands of Manimarco and his worm cult. How did you end up in Cold Harbor? When I discovered the truth about the five companions, I made subtle inquiries, but apparently not subtle enough. Manimarco got word of my interests and abducted me. He took me to Cold Harbor, where I remained a prisoner until you freed me. They saw you as a threat? The truth is always a threat to evil men. Manamarco feared I would reveal his treachery, and if knowledge of Nan's vulnerability were to become known, it could threaten his master's schemes. Molog Baal does not favor loose ends. Walk with me. You got it. Long ago it was written, so long as the amulet of kings was born by Alessia's heirs, Tamriel would be protected from the forces of oblivion. But the soul burst tore the veil between worlds and gave Molog Baal the opportunity he desired. Molog Baal's dark anchors pierce the torn veil and seek to draw Nern into the depths of Cold Harbor. These terrible engines of destruction have been appearing all throughout Tamriel. successful. He will merge our world and his own in a terrible plain mill. Few will survive the ordeal, and those that do will be enslaved for all eternity. And so it falls to us, Vistage. We must stop Molog Baal and his dark anchors, or our world is doomed. And now history seems to have caught up with us. Shall we return to the harbor? Yes, I am ready to go back. As you say, That's it. Very easy quest. Now I just need to talk to him and finish it up. And so it begins. The remainder of the story has yet to be written. It is your story now. You've given me a lot to think about. And there is so much to do. But know this. You will not walk this path alone. So what's our next move? We must grow in strength and in numbers. You will need more than the company of an old blind man to alter the course of history. We must assemble our own group of companions. The first you have already met. Lyris Titanborn? Lyris sacrificed her own freedom to allow us to escape. She remains a prisoner in Cold Harbor. I must determine her precise location if we are to mount a rescue. That will take time. What should I do in the meantime? Minamarco's agents leave a web of lies and deceit. They pit the races of Tamriel against one another and divert their attention from the real threat. Seek out these agents, wherever they can be found, and expose their lies. I'll do what I can. Forgive me. Bringing you to my mind seems to have taken quite a toll on me. I must rest. I will contact you when the time is right. Until then, walk in the light, Vistage. Thank you, Private. So as you see, you'll get a ring, you'll get some gold, and a skill point. So... This one's first. Let's see if they go. Here's the skill point. So I think I'm going to do the Destructive Clench as opposed to the Destructive Reach. I think that just makes it go further, yeah. So let's do Destructive Clench. Put on this ring. 
I like 15 magicka, increase max and magicka by one. Not too chubby. All right, let's get out of here.